I'm a huge fan of this guy. Devin Jato is crushing the internet with his marketing content and especially with his viral editing skills. That's why I can't wait to show you a few of his CapCut tricks which you can use in your videos. So let's do it together. The first trick that he uses in this video is a 30 second rundown timer. Let's create that. Open CapCut and create a new project. Go up to text, add default text, delete the text and just write a dot. Increase it to the maximum and move it to the center. Change the color to green. Scroll down. Click on stroke. Change the color to light gray and set it to 1. Because we need a 30 second timer, we need to stretch it to the 30 second mark. Now we have to duplicate this. Click on Command plus C or Control plus C to copy and Command plus V or Control plus V to paste it. Highlight the first one, click on V to disable it and highlight the second one. Go up, scroll down to stroke, set it to 8 and change the color to white. Right click, create a compound clip, go to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on green color and pull the strength slider to right. Let's duplicate this one again. Click on command plus C or control plus C to copy and command plus V or control plus V to paste it. Highlight the first one, press V to enable it, right click, create a compound clip, go to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on green color and pull the strength slider to right. Press V to disable it for now, do the same for the middle one and highlight the third one. Go up to mask, choose horizontal and rotate the line to 90 degrees so the right part is visible. Press V to disable it, highlight the middle, press V, go up to mask, choose horizontal and rotate the line to 90 degrees so the left part is visible. Turn on the upper one by pressing V. Make sure your playhead is on the beginning. Go to the right side, click keyframe on rotation, move your playhead to the end and write 450 to rotation box and click enter. That means that the circle will rotate. Now go to the exact middle which is 270 degrees, highlight the middle one, press command plus B or control plus B to cut it and you can now delete the right part. Now import the green screen which I already have here and I also left you all the materials which you will need in this video on the link in the description. Drag it to the timeline, stretch it to the end and adjust its size to the whole screen. Go up to text, add text and type letter O with the capital. Now we have to adjust it so we cover the whole circle. Stretch the letter O to the end of the clip. Change the color by choosing this color picker and click on the green screen so we get exactly the same green color. Right click on the text and create a compound clip. Go to mask, choose horizontal and rotate it to 90 degrees so the left part is visible. Now we have to create the numbers from 30 to 0. Move your playhead to the beginning, go to text add text and write number 30. You can choose your text and resize it. Adjust the text length to exact 1 second mark. Go up to animation, click on out and choose fade out animation and set it to 0.3 seconds. Now we have to copy numbers for every second and change their values. Once you are done, highlight everything except the first circle. Don't forget to include the green screen. Then right click, range and click select an area by clip. Then export everything. Now I will import my background video where I try to be Devin Jato. Please don't laugh. I will place it at the end. Now move two frames forward, 
Highlight our first circle, click V to enable it, copy and paste it right above our background video. Then import our countdown video and drag it above our first circle. Go up to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on that green color and pull the string to the right. Highlight both, resize it and place it wherever on the screen. Here we have our countdown timer. I'm gonna teach you how in just 30 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna show you two hooks and I'll... Let's move to his second trick in the video, which are appearing hooks. I already imported those two hooks into a CapCut. Like green screen, you can also download these hooks from the link below. Let us listen to the text so we know where to place the hooks. I'm gonna teach you how in just 30 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna show you two hooks. Here is the exact point, so... Drag the hooks above the video, resize it to 20 and place them beside one another. Move number one a few frames forward because it comes a little later. Go up to animation and for in choose zoom to animation and set it to 0.6 seconds. Do the same for number 2. Import the arrow and place it above number 1 hook right after the end of animation. Resize it to let's say 5. Rotate it and place it on hook number 1. Drag the opacity to 0. And click the keyframe on opacity, position and size. Highlight hook number 1. Click keyframe on position and size and do the same for hook number 2. Stretch the timeline a bit. Move 5 frames forward by clicking arrow keys. Highlight arrow and both hooks and move them down a little bit and keyframe will be created automatically. Highlight the arrow, make sure you are on the last keyframe and move the opacity to 80 and click on keyframe on position and size. Now move 10 frames forward, click keyframe on position and size, move 5 frames forward, move arrow to hook number 2, click keyframe on position and size, move another 5 frames forward, move arrow back to hook number 1 and click keyframe on position and size. Right click on arrow, click a compound clip. Scroll down, click motion blur and set it or leave it to 100. Now we have to listen again where I say number 1 and pause it. I'm gonna show you two hooks and I want you to choose which one is better. Number Create a keyframes on position and size and both hooks and arrow. Highlight hook number 2. Move 5 frames forward and drag it outside the screen. Then highlight arrow and hook number 1 and drag it to the center. Move 10 frames forward, click on arrow and make keyframe on position and size. Repeat that for hook number 1, then move 5 frames forward, highlight arrow and hook number 1 and drag it outside of the screen. And if we play it, we have something like this. Okay, I'm gonna show you two hooks and I want you to choose which one is better. Number one, here are my top 10 colognes for... Let us move to our last part and third trick, which is counting numbers and numbers behind the person. Go back to CapCut and drag the second hook to the timeline when I say and hook number two. Choose which one is better. Number one, here are my top 10 colognes for 2023 and hook... But to resize it and position it on the same place where hook number 1 left space, we have to go back where you see number 1 and drag the number 2 to the playhead. Resize it and position it as it is number 1. Then drag it to the right place. 1. Here are my top 10 colognes for 2023. And hook number... Go up to animation. And for in, choose slide left and set it to 0.3 seconds. Move playhead to the beginning, go up to video, drag opacity to zero, click keyframe, go to the end of the arrow, 
turn the opacity to 100 and keyframe will be created automatically. Move 3 frames forward, cut the clip and delete it. Now highlight the main clip and go to this point. Click keyframe on position and size and then move 10 frames forward, increase it and click on keyframe on position and size again. Go up to text, auto captions, choose your language and click create. We can delete all the captions before the hook because we have them already in the video. Highlight the last caption, go to basic, scroll down and click on left alignment. Scroll up and delete everything except the first word, click on uppercase, choose the font to drag white, resize it, move it up on left. Now make 4 copies of this caption, highlight the second caption, uncheck apply to all, scroll down, move it down and write purchasing. Adjust the text box if needed and reposition it. Listen to the text and drag the second caption accordingly. After purchase. Highlight the third caption, move it down, stretch the text box and write colognes and increase the character on the same width as upper text. Go up to animation and for in choose slide up animation and set it to 0.4 seconds. Drag it to the point where I say colognes. After purchasing nearly 2000 colognes. Now we need to create a run up numbers. Highlight the last captions, pull it away, change the fonts to Sansita, increase it and write 1993. Change the color to red, scroll down, click glow and set the intensity to 60 and range to 100. Rotate it a bit, set it to around half a second. Copy and paste it so many times so you reach number 2000. Highlight all, create a compound clip and click on motion blur. Place it to the right spot. After purchasing nearly 2000. And drag it under the purchase. Go to speed and set it to 2.6x. Go to the end and hit one frame back, right click, edit and freeze. Move to the end and delete the right part. The last thing we need to do is to put number 2000 behind the person. Highlight the main clip, go to where hook number 2 ends and cut the clip. Click keyframe on position and size, go 20 frames forward and decrease the size to 100. Now copy the clip. With that one selected go to cutout and click on auto cutout. Then highlight the text after and copy it. Write number 2000, resize it, place it up to the head, turn down the opacity, click on glow and set the values. Drag it to the same position as our run up numbers, drag it down under our second main clip, right click and create a compound clip. Then go up to effects, video effects, nightclub and drag the black flash 2 effect to number 2000. Shrink the effect to around half and set the strength to 70. Move your playhead to the end. Highlight all the clips and press W to cut the right part. This was the last step so let us play the whole clip now. I'm gonna teach you how in just 30 seconds. Ok, I'm gonna show you two hooks and I want you to choose which one is better. Number 1, here are my top 10 colognes for 2023. And hook number 2, after purchasing nearly 2000 colognes last year. Congratulations! You've learned 3 awesome tricks that Devin Jato is using and which you can use in your videos. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.